Now let's install the packet that we downloaded. I go back to the browser to see the location to where the file has been downloaded. It's downloaded in the Downloads folder. Now open a terminal screen and go to the folder using cd command. To install the packet, use dpkg, Linux command with I parameter, and last, type the file name. Remember, you can use a tab key to complete the file name and hit enter. The installation is completed within a few seconds. Now let's look at the messages. It says we should start the Nessus D daemon to start Nessus home. And then we can connect to the web interface of Nessus, which will be served at port 8834. This is the default port of Nessus Home's interface. So use the service command to start the Nessus D daemon. First, I want to look at its status. It's inactive at the moment. Type service Nessus D start to start Nessus D daemon. Now, let's look at the ports of our Kali, which happen to be in listen mode. Use the netstat command with TNLP parameters, and here it is. Port 8834 is being listened to by Nessus D. Now we can access Nessus Home's web interface. So go to the browser and type 127.0.0.1 colon 8843 and hit enter. As you know, 127.0.0.1 stands for the local host. You can use the IP address of your Kali instead. It doesn't matter. Whoops. Nessus service is an HTTPS service. So we have to use HTTPS at the beginning of our URL. So our browser says that the connection is not secure because the local certificate of Nessus is not registered by a CA, a certificate authority. No worries. Click Advanced and then Add Exception and click Confirm Security Exception. And here's the first interaction with Nessus Home's web interface. So the next step is to set up Nessus Home. First step is to create an account. Select a username for yourself and add a password. Click Continue. The next screen asks the scanner type and the activation code, which has been sent to our email address while we were downloading the Nessus Home's installation packet. Here are the scanner types. We'll use Nessus Home, so leave the first option selected. Now I go to the email sent by Nessus and copy the activation code and paste it into the related field. Then click Continue. As soon as setup is complete, Nessus downloads and initiates the latest plugins, which will be used in the scans by Nessus. First, it downloads the plugins according to your connection speed. Now, it may take a few minutes, so be patient. Now it's compiling the plugin. This step may take longer than the download step, so you might want to go and grab yourself a cup of coffee. And there it is. The initialization phase is complete. Welcome to the Nessus interface.